Hello and welcome to this solo playthrough of Advanced Squad Leader. I'm Robin Reeve and we are playing the fifth turn of HC1, First Matanikau. So we have just a bunch of Japanese here, here and here clinging in a quite desperate way to uh, the village and Marines just being with being there with their firepower, etc. Uh, yes, and also here. So, nothing is already decided, but the situation is getting harder and harder. Let's go for the wind. Nothing. Let's go for some self-ready here. Need a two. Won't do it. And that will be all. Japanese have left two broken machine guns behind. What can we do? What should we do? Well, some good prep fire to soften the Japanese defense. So here, with the machine guns, we have 12 flat. No, really? You're kidding. 12 and 2 is 1 KIA. Okay, that's awful. So, random selection, top to bottom, so those guys go to the casualty bin, leaving the machine gun. I'm going to just throw a die. Yes, it's broken. And the others are broken, so that means wounded again. Okay, and those guys, uh, they are broken. Well... As we say in French, that's the end of the beans. I don't know how we say that, but really. C'est la fin des haricots, as we say. Yeah. Another prep fire here. Oh, I'm going to push, put everybody there. So 8, 12, 24 plus 2. Ah, that's 24 and 12 is not ideal. 10, 11, 12. An NMC could be enough, you know. Doesn't always work, so here also we have a good four and seven less eleven. Uh, yes, they have full firepower because they are guarding uh, unit lots, not superior to them to their US number, so um, that's 11, that's 20 plus 1. Okay, there's a flame created. Don't like that. I'm looking for... Let's put a flame. So we fired seven. Okay. So twenty plus one, twenty and eight, two MC. Stripe plus two for the little guys. There's no disruption, but they still are broken. There we are. Now, movement, and that's prep fire, sorry, movement. Here, assault movement two. Oh, I forgot, no, didn't want to. And they'll pop some smoke on themselves. Okay, no. So assault movement two here. Who can do what? Nothing. Here, the raiders place a DC for 
and assault moving so two and of course the Japanese answers with a four flat nothing they even cover and the guys here move one not more they still have another, have another turn here yeah. okay so they already have a concrete place here uh, defense of fire face nothing here no, we're waiting, we're being patient. What can we do else? So that's all for the Japanese. We are desperate. Advanced fire phase. So here we have 30. Bang, 30 and 6. 30 and 7, sorry, because of the plus 1 of the. 30 and 7 is 4MC. Okay, 4MC for the striped units. They become. Oh, what have I said? Oh, stupid. They become half squad. One of which goes to the allied casualty bin. Uh, and the others said plus four. Okay, they go to the casualty bin of the allied. That would be it. We will be firing here. Eight flat plus one. Kikuchi wounded again. Okay. Plus one, they need a five. No, they go to the casualty bin. Kikuchi tries to retrieve the mortar, which he does. For what's worth. Okay, here we have four plus one. Well, normal morale check. Pinned. Okay, I think I forgot to fire with those. Anyway, two, two flat. Perfect. Sorry. And here. Six plus one. Nothing. That's really now cleaning the place. Route face. None. None. Advanced face. No, the flame will go up further more. I think. Yeah, we'll go down here. Yeah. Some close combat at hand. We're moving away. <sighs> really, I don't think it's worth the, the effort. Here we go. Here we come. No, not so interested in close combat now. Close combat phase here. Oh, so nobody has any DRM. So US, Japanese, OK. 4 to 1. Oof, need something like 9. Okay, and one to four is so low that here they go. Okay, um, and here we have some close combat possibilities. So the USAans are stealthy, so minus one, plus one for the Japanese for ambush, so minus one, four, plus one, three, no. Five to three is three to two. We need a six, 
and they are one and a half to five is one to four. So yeah, either six or less. Okay, they are reduced, and one to four, nothing. So they are. There we are. That will be a melee. There we are, and pin out. Okay. Oh, I forgot there. No, they can't quit the place. But what is? Yeah. As I said, I think that the burning hut still counts as a hut, even if conquered. But perhaps not. There are other rules. But anyway, it won't change a lot. Um. There we are for the American turn. Everybody's visible, so now rally face for the Japanese. Let's see the, the wind. It's quite a spa sparing. Yeah. It's going to rally. Uh, Upham needs a six. Okay, here, nothing. There is nothing. Only broken, broken gear. So, pet fire, of course, here flat no no movement no defensive fire face of course we'll put everything to do it eight sixteen and sixteen thirty plus two thirty and ten yes two MC Okay, they're pinned. Okay, I don't think I'm to fire with the other ones on any anybody, so that's all. Uh, that's all for defensive. North fire face. Rolling for the flame. Nine. I'm going to, I need to check that. Nine. So the hut has a basis. I think it goes up right quite well actually. Um, a hut needs a seven but there's minus two because of yeah, but it goes up. Okay, the hut goes up. Oh, it took time during I had a pause here. And I think it's blazing. Ah, collapsed. Okay, that's not a problem. Oh, it is. I'm just going to look at that blaze. blaze. Okay. We just need to look at the rule. So here we are. You know that they were set aflame. That's another problem. Okay. Um, Hut becomes a blaze, that hut immediately collapses. Okay, they speak of the reverse side of a collapse hut counter, but let's see that. And 532 and 536, we'll just look at it now. Of course, I'll I'll do the PTC. A player which is not is not held responsible, okay? So it was an accident that it started flame, does not affect control in any way. But such blaze counters may, if the ground of one are unenterable by both sides because of such blaze counters, the side that controls the majority of hexes adjacent to this area also control all hexes of this area. Anyway, the American controls it. Okay. Any location that is unenterable due to that is controlled by side controlling its hex. Yeah, let's say. Okay, but it's still a building, that's the thing. So I'm doing a PTC now. Okay, that pinned. Okay. Uh, there we are. Uh, okay, there's no other advance face. Okay. Uh, route face, so I'll voluntary routes here. Anyway, it's controlled, so. There we are. Still a building, so the Americans do control it. Oh, 
there we are, route face. I think that's all. There's no routing here. Oh, yes, perhaps no. Advanced face. Oh. No, we can't even have the courage to fly it so close to that face here. One to five is one to six. to six four minus one okay and six to one twelve hardly possible not to okay so they go to the cavity bin so here becomes allied and American well, I think this would be the time the Japanese concedes. All the buildings are controlled, so that's eight. Just looking at the Celtic being. So, oh yeah, 30, 33 to 15 is already 18, plus the huts, so 26. So the, the Marines win a crushing victory. Uh, what happened? Yeah, I'm ready to hear your remarks about tactics. The Japanese did what they could in the jungle. They they they, they were quite uh, yeah, conservative. There was, of course, there, I had my nine min minus one leader try Banzai charge, but it had they had a lot of chance to win. And anyway, between that and being just shot at by by moving in the palm trees was not really the best thing to do. So, all in all, uh, the the result is is the historical one. So, um, I didn't go on raw to see the balance, but I find it complicated for the Japanese. Actually, with my faulty setup, it was more amusing. But what happened and didn't happen here is that in the previous botched up um, scenario uh, the attack near the beach was really beaten badly because the machine gun uh, of the Japanese had a row of tear at the right moment and you know you had a bit everybody hiding in the in jungle down here in the east in the west so that changed a lot they were more conservative this turn, the, the, this scenario. So the, the Marines just need to be half conservative and hit hard when they can. All in all, it was a pleasure. I think I'm going to play something else than PTO next time. But I was, I was thinking of those watchtower operation watchtower scenarios, and uh, and. Uh, I found out about Hell's Corner that I had scanned years ago and never played. So something with beach, a little beach, and uh, Guadalcanal was really attractive to me. Um, of course, playing solo, you know where the hipsters are, but as you see, I play as if the, you don't know, and anyway... Uh, if you know that there are hipsters around you, you're cautious, that's all. So, I hope you had a nice time looking at this scenario. We're stopping here and uh, see you later for another scenario if you appreciate my videos. Bye-bye.